In this Business Tech Planet video, we'll show you how to use Kanban boards in Microsoft Loop and highlight the newest board features. Starting from a new page in Microsoft Loop, type forward slash. Then type board and select Kanban board from the pop-up. This board can be used like Trello, allowing you to drag tasks to different stages as you progress through the project timeline. To demonstrate, we'll add a title to a card. To insert elements, type forward slash. We'll choose to add a link to a Word document. Click Add Work Owner to assign someone to this task. Then start entering their name, and select them from the drop-down. To add a deadline, click Select Date, and choose a date. The assignee will then receive email reminders, if the task hasn't been completed. We'll follow the same process to create another task card. To move a task to a different stage, simply click and drag it across until you see the black line. Then release. To reorder tasks, you can click and drag them up or down the list. And you can even reorder the whole column, by clicking and dragging the three dots to the right of the column name. To create a new task, click the plus icon at the top of the column, or head down and click add card at the bottom. To delete a card, click the three dots inside, then choose delete card in the pop-up. One of the new features for Kanban boards is the ability to sort the tasks. To do that, click the sort icon, indicated by the up and down arrows, then click add a sort. You can order the tasks by attributes such as title, owner, and target date. Once you've selected a field to sort by, choose whether to order by ascending or descending. If you sort by title, ascending would be in alphabetical order, from A to Z, and descending would be from Z to A. To remove the sort, just click the bin icon on the right. To filter the tasks, click the filter icon, indicated by three horizontal lines. Select a field to check. We'll choose title. Select from a list of conditions. We'll choose contains. Then enter a value, which we'll set to publish, so that only tasks with the word publish in the title will be displayed. When we hit apply, we can see that only the task titled publish is shown. To remove the filter, head back to filters. Click the bin icon. Then click apply. If you want to get notified whenever a task changes, you can set up an automation rule. To do that, click the three dots at the top. Then click rules. Select a field that you want to check for changes. To trigger the rule whenever a task gets completed, choose Stage. In the second select box, choose Equals. And in the third select box, choose Done. Finally, in the Automate drop-down, you can choose how you want to get notified. We'll choose Email. Now click Continue. Then click Next. On the next page, click the input box at the top, and enter the name, or email address of whoever you want to notify. And in the input box below, add a subject, such as task completed. To finish, head down and click create flow. You can now find the automation listed under the rules header, where you can edit, delete, and switch the rule on or off. To test the flow, let's drag one of the tasks into the completed column. Now. When we head to Outlook, we can see that we've been notified of this change. Back in Loop, there are more options for us to look at. For example, you can change the board to a table layout. You could also convert the board into a component, allowing you to position the tasks in a more convenient location. To do that, click the six dots on the left, and select Create Loop Component. Then, head to the top right of the component and click the copy icon. In the dialog box, click settings. Then ensure that everyone can edit. And click apply. If you have a group chat in Microsoft Teams, you can paste the component directly into the chat. Or you could even create a tab using whiteboard. To do that, click the plus icon at the top of your group chat. Search for whiteboard, and click the application. Enter a name for the whiteboard, such as to do. Then hit save at the bottom. You can now press Ctrl and V, or Command and V to paste the component into the whiteboard. The last features we're showcasing include the new expand option, and column management. To expand or collapse the board, 
click the expand icon at the top, indicated by two horizontal arrows. To add a new column, head to the right side, and click the plus icon. Enter a name for the column. Then click the check mark. To delete a column, click the three vertical dots. Then select delete group. And click delete to confirm. And to quickly rename a column, click the name at the top, which then allows you to enter a new name. That's all for this video. Please leave a comment if this helped, and hit the subscribe button for more Microsoft videos. Also, for all the latest Microsoft news, and free exclusive resources, be sure to click the link in the description, and grab our weekly newsletter.